Bible. What is the lie that our people have read and believed? Give me for, uh, say, uh, Colossians 2 and 8. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Brother, I need you to listen to this too. What's your name? What's your, Caleb, Caleb, I need you to listen. Read that. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Bring it up. Come on. This, because what happens to our people, we repeat what we have been taught, right? And unfortunately, we've been taught a, a religion or a doctrine that does not pertain to us. We adopted these customs when we came to America. Watch this. Give me that. The book of Colossians. Chapter 2 and verse 8. Bring it out. Barrel, least any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. I want you to start from the top again. Read it. Beware. Beware. Lee. He's warning you. Paul is warning the children of Israel. Read. Least any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. So we're being uh we're being tricked by philosophy, right? Science, all of these other things. Read. After the tradition of men. After the traditions of men. After the rudiments of the world. Uh -huh. And not after Christ. And not after Christ. So our people, these brothers and sisters that are out here, they don't have a care in the world. They don't want to entertain what the Bible is speaking of. We're out here showing our people that we're the greatest people on this planet. Right. But guess what? We don't want to hear that. You know what we want to do? We want to smoke our black and mild. Right, right. We want to blow our sisters back out. We want to make whores out of our sisters. Right. We don't want to marry our sisters. We're killing one another. To step on a brother's shoe. Guess what? We want to kill him. Right. Why are we doing that to one another? I got to go, but I'm going to tell you why. Right now, it's a mass, mass mind control situation going on. Mind control, they, they dream, they can't alter the government, all that, they're working against us. Now I want you to watch this. I want you to give me uh, 1 Timothy chapter 6. I gotta go, I gotta go, brother. All right. All right. So you just said, so I'm gonna give you this last thing, right? This is part of the strong delusion of our people, right? Read that. The book of 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 10. For the love of money. The book, first, uh, the book of 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 20. Oh, Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust. So, the Bible says commit those things which have been given to your trust, read. Avoiding profane and vain, vain babbling. Now, we have to avoid profane and vain babbling, read. And opposition of science. Opposition of what? And opposition of science. Falsely, so called. Falsely, so called. So, what you're sharing with me, bro? The Bible from the beginning says that our food will be the fire. Right. right? It would not keep its strength. Right. But that has nothing to do with you keeping God's commandments. Right. That has nothing to do with that. That is a lie that we've been taught. So guess what? We regurgitate these things, and guess what? We are deceived by them. Right. All of us are eating the same foods that you're eating. Right. And guess what? We're keeping these commandments. Right. You understand that? So now, what happened to us? Why are we in this condition? I know you want to leave. I'm going to tell you straight. There's nothing more important right now than you hear this truth. That's right. I'm going to be straight. I don't care what it is you're trying to do. There's nothing more important than you hear this truth. You understand me, my brother? You understand? Yes, Hello? The one thing that's more important than anything that's happening right now, anywhere, everywhere, Okay. You gotta find yourself, you gotta meditate, you gotta get to the you within you. What are you meditating on? The you within you. There's no such thing as that. If you believe that, you you gonna wanna figure that out before. Watch this, give me Luke chapter four. Let me show you something. Luke chapter 4. I understand that. I understand that. Luke chapter 4. Many of our people think, hey, what's your name, brother? It's again. Caleb. Caleb, what you got for me? I don't know. All right, so, brother, I don't know. Okay, we'll show you. We'll show you what tribe you're from. Your father. What is your father considered to be? Based on this sign right here. Where do you see your father? Is he a so-called black man? Okay. So according to the scriptures, we can only go by what the scripture says. You understand that? So based on the scriptures, you would be an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Based on the scriptures. Give me Genesis chapter 32 and verse 28. We're going to show you what that name Israel 
which is the father of the 12 tribes of Israel. That's a heavy, heavy name that we know nothing about. Watch that reading. The book of Genesis, chapter 32, and verse 28. Come on. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob. So the Bible says, Your name shall be called no more Jacob. Read. But Israel. What does Israel mean? For as a prince has thou power with God. So as a prince, you have power with God. Only you can receive salvation. That is it. Only the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans can receive salvation. Why? Because you have power with God. The commandments were only given to you. Psalms 147, verse 19. They were only given to you, my brother. That is it. So the only ones that can be saved is the children of Israel. Psalm chapter 147, verse 19. Come on. The book of Psalms. Chapter 147 and verse 19. Read. He showed his word unto Jacob. So the Bible says he showed the scriptures to Jacob, the forefather of the twelve tribes of Israel. Read. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Come on. He has not dealt so. He has what? He has not dealt so uh -huh. with any nation. He hasn't dealt with no other nation. Read. And as for his judgments, as for his judgments, they have not known them. Amos yes. chapter what? 3. What? Amos chapter 3 and verse 1. Watch, we're going to back up what we just said according to the scriptures. Have you ever wondered? We, we commit sins, and all the other nations commit the same sins, but guess what? Who's getting judged? Who are getting judged for keep breaking God's commandments? Watch this. Read that. The book of Amos, chapter 3, and verse 1. Read. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Listen up, you Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are the children of Israel. You are God's chosen people. Read that. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. Come on. Saying, you only. You what? You only. God says you only. Read. Have I known of all the families of the earth. God only knows you black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. Therefore. Therefore, because you broke God's commandments. Read. I will punish you. You will do what? I will punish you. Read. For all your iniquities. Guess what? We broke God's commandments. That's why we're in our condition. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. We're going to show you where it started at. All right? Listen it up. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. Come on. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 15. Read. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Hearken. So he's speaking to the children of Israel, Moses. He said, if you will not hearken, meaning to listen to God's words, read. To us all, uh -huh. to do all his commandments. And notice he said to do is an action word. We must do something, read. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. What are some of the curses that you see in our communities that we're dealing with as a people? We're going against everything we Name some of the curses. What do you see going on in our communities? Uh, 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 we ain't trying to help a brother. Uh huh. We're going to put each other under. We're going to kill each other. Uh huh. We talk about the white man, but we're going we to take, take out our own. Right, 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 right. Absolutely right. Now watch this. Keep reading. Watch this. Read. Curse! Shall not be in the city? So God says we were going to be cursed in the cities. As you can see it, we're in the cities. We're cursed. Read. And curse! Shall not be in the field. Where were we cursed in the field? When? When were we cursed in the field? Slavery. Where's the pictures at? Where, where, where are our pictures at? What we got? What we got? What we got? Where we at? Uh, where, where's, this, where's the pictures of the uh, us being cursed in the field? So we know that our people, we were in, we were in slavery, right? No pictures? Okay, so our people were, is this, okay, all right, so look at this, come up here, bro, come on, come on, come on, come on, do you see what has happened to our people? This is all because we broke God's commandments. So if we are in the condition that we're in as a people on the bottom, because you would agree we're not on the top, we're on the bottom, watch this, give me uh, Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6, we're going to show you where we're supposed to be. And then we're going to tell you where we are, which you can clearly see. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Come on. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, and verse 6. Read. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. Israel, you are a holy people. Read. 
the Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. God only has one chosen people. That's right. Everybody's not chosen of God. Hey, sisters, how y'all doing? Hey, do you know what your nationality is according to the Bible? I want y'all to see this. Our people, we don't know who we are. We have no idea. We call ourselves black. We call ourselves African Americans. Hell, we even call ourselves niggas. Read. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. We can't identify as Israel and not realize that God put us above all people on the face of this earth. It's impossible. We are supposed to be on the top. There's no such thing as equality. That scripture alone tells you there's no equality with God. But guess what? Christianity tells you that we all created equal. That's when they give us lies, though. That's when they give us lies, right. Hey, my brother. Hey, y'all went. Hey, did y'all. Hey, do you know your nationality according to the scriptures? And you sure? Hey, so did you get a flyer? Yes, sir. I got that right here. Do you live here in New Orleans? What are the Texas? You live in Texas. Hey, what we have a brother. Where's you from Texas? Which one are you guys from? We have, you're from Texas, right? Hey, get with this brother right here. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is you. And finally!